my name is Andres Pinos and I uh, did my PhD in the University of Tübingen in Germany. Uh, before that, I was, in, uh, I, I was a master's student at the University of Bonn, uh, also in Germany. And now I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Factor Institute. I'm still continuing of uh, my research uh, uh, that I have done during my PhD, which is mainly about uh, uh, probabilistic inference in, in, in neural networks. Especially it's, it's, it's important because uh, neural networks are overconfident uh, in the sense that uh, they, they can be of, of uh, high accuracy, but uh, they don't know what they don't know, essentially, right? Because um, uh, they might be wrong, but the, the confidence estimate of neural networks is obviously very, very high, right? So they are always overconfident. So my goal um, is to um, mitigate this issue, to, to, to make neural networks confidence estimates to be uh, better calibrated, essentially. Uh, the impact for society as a whole is quite, actually quite, uh, quite big because um, let's just use an everyday examples, right? So for example, if you are overconfident about something, about everything, could be fatal. For example, um, let's say you are on top of uh, the, the CN Tower in Toronto, um, and you are overconfident about your ability to survive if you jump <laughs> off of the, 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 the top of CN Tower, right? If you are very confident about it, even though it's, it's totally wrong, right? If you are very confident about it, then you are more more likely to jump off of, of the uh, of the edge of the, the top of CN Tower, and of course you cannot beat the law of physics, and so it could be fatal, right? But if you have better, you know, more more tempered confidence um, about about things, more calibrated confidence, then you will know that uh, oh yeah, this is not 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 a, not a good thing. I'm not confident that I will survive. Um, in fact. In, in this inspirable case, my confidence should be zero that I, I, I will survive. So that's why I will not be doing that kind of uh, stupid thing, right? So that's that's uh, it is very intuitive for us human, but for neural networks, um, they don't have this kind of mechanism of, of having uh, you know calibrated uh, confidence estimates. So they will always have a highly confident estimate, even though they are wrong. So. Um, if you apply this in an application like self driving car and so on and so forth, then it could be fatal, right? So, for example, if, if you don't have a calibrated confidence estimate um, in, in the when, when, when the car see um, uh, the road in front of um, uh, in front of it, right? Um, then, without calibrated confidence estimate, then uh, the car would be always be of uh, uh, confident, even though they are, uh, it, it, it's wrong, right? And so um, you don't have a mechanism to notify the, the driver behind the wheel of the, that autonomous car um, so that uh, it can mitigate this, this kind of uh, edge cases where uh, the neural network is wrong. So um, really, this, this kind of uh, uh, confidence calibration is, is very useful in, in terms of, uh, of, of making uh, AI systems safe. I think you can you can have a general you know um, general decision making framework here, right? Like in, in machine learning, there is a there is a concept of exploration and exploitation, right? Before you make decision, so basically, um, at first you should explore many aspects of AI, right? Like uh, for example, AI is not just research, but AI is uh, is also uh, engineering, uh, DevOps, and and so on and so forth. So try all those different things, explore a lot of stuff. Um, don't just hedge your your decision on just uh, one particular uh, thing when when you um, when you when you just started, um, and then um, once you experience many different aspects of, of AI, um, then ask yourself a question: which 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 path do do, do I want to to to, to go to, um, and then uh, commit to it, um, answer it honestly, um, and then commit to it and uh, pursue excellence in that in that path. Well, it's simple because Factor is a world-class institution. Um, it's uh, there are many, many people here, many world-class people here, and it's a uh, uh, very um, uh, multidisciplinary. And uh, there are you, you can have a 
uh, a collaboration that you couldn't think of before it uh, before digital joining picture so it's really great here and then you have, you, you got to live in toronto which is also, also a world class city